Hello there. In our previous vector design video, we've seen how to design an Adobe Illustrator and event logo based on sketch. Definitely a process that requires at least some drawing skills. This time, however, we'll see by the Shamp how to create an Adobe Illustrator, a campaign logo which requires no drawing expertise whatsoever. It will be based on ready-made ornaments, which can be downloaded from any stock vector site so that even if you do not draw at all, you can still create a gorgeous campaign logo on your own. It will be designed in the style of a big fundraising campaign, like those usually seen by the city institutions campaigns. And of course, we'll go for an unusual and even bizarre campaign name, so that even by mistake we won't use any real name of any real campaign that has already been used in the past. So, here we go. Let's start by creating an arched path using the pen tool. Now I'll remove the fill and the stroke. And using the text tool with the type on path function, we'll write down the word Asumaini. This will be the title, um, which is kind of a catchy campaign name, as is customary in campaigns of uh, Toyota institutions. Now let's go to the shear tool, double click on it. It's currently set to 15 degrees. Let's give it a 30. No, that's too much. Maybe 17. Okay. Since this logo is going to be an asymmetrical, meaning a non-symmetrical type of design, that's why this tilted heading will fit uh, better. Now doing another arched line on top of the title. This too will we do by using the type on path as we did in the title itself. These words are from the Tfilostal um, that I slightly messed up their order to match them so that they rhyme with the title. I'll just change this font to a different one, to the gorgeous font called Stetl, which will give the logo the right atmosphere and will fit the nature of our imaginary target audience. This is how its punctuation goes. Asumaini, which is the title, obviously. Some touch-ups to the path here. Okay, now let's duplicate this path and add on it our campaign descriptor. Which means in free translation to save our institutions and fill up our reserves. This part of course I didn't take from any Jewish prayer. So this line will actually seal up the base of this logo, give it its bottom framing ending. Now let's go back to handle the general form we have gotten here. Give some touch-ups to all the inscriptions together as a typographic composition so it will have the right flow. And then start preparing the packaging of this logo by adding ready-made ornaments using some um, improvisation techniques. Just before that, um, I'll add an outline path. This line will be part of the logo structure. Maybe later on we'll um, make some kind of a banner out of it. We'll shortly apply on this line uh, one of the brushes that Adobe Illustrator has to offer.
Now I'll duplicate this top line, bringing it down. Let's modify it so um, it will match the base of the logo. Adjusting it to the text line. Some more uh, touch ups and adjustments. Now again, uh, let's duplicate this ending line to creating kind of a banner. Now again, I'll do the same with the top line, duplicate it, and this will be a top banner. Okay, now let's open a file of ready-made ornaments. Let's choose some of them, maybe these two. Now let's paste it here, increase the size of it, ungroup it, and use particles of this ornament. Some uh, little details. It's all about trial and error which means we have to take our time and consider it as an experiment. That's all required here. We should not rush doing something quick just to finish the job. We should better work on such things with no rush, so we'll get our best. We should remember not to cut corners, at least not in a way that it will look like that. So we can rotate each part, twist it, distort it, replace it, stretch it out. Everything possible, it should be nice to observe. And avoid mediocre results as much as we can, as long as we want to engage in designing. Now, this tool I'm using right now is the Warp tool. It's a great tool and personally I find it really useful. Its key shortcut is Shift R. It's just a great tool for stretching objects um, elastically. We'll see in a moment by stretching out this little ornament. We increase and decrease proportionally the diameter of the Warp tool by pressing the ALT key, SHIFT key and dragging the mouse simultaneously. We're done with the logo structure, I'm copying it. Go over to the stroke window, give it a thickness of 10. Going up to the menu bar. Opening stroke settings window, mark both caps and corner at the middle option for round edges, by this removing the spikes. Going over to the pathfinder window, clicking on merge. This unites the entire structure into one piece, one chunk. Now I'm pasting the logo structure I made a copy of earlier. 
clicking expand to flatten it now centering it to the outline structure of the logo and place it above as a top layer now while doing this multitude of actions and functions i realized that the letters um, have disappeared so let's put them back in place We're almost done. I'll just add uh, some color to it. Let's choose some bright shade. Something else that I'm realizing right now is that during flattening this black shape of the logo, there was an open space which caused there should remain a huge hole behind the head title Asumaini. So I'm adding now a small circle here to close the opening and now by clicking merge and unite we close it up That's it for now, I hope you enjoyed it, I'd recommend you subscribe to the channel and stay informed every time a new video or tutorial is uploaded here. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next tutorial.